It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Friday, the 30th of July. I'm Michael Groff. Monsoon moisture combined with an upper-level disturbance will continue scattered showers and thunderstorms across the region today and into tomorrow. But then things start to quiet down on Sunday, and it now appears that we will enter into an extended period of drier and somewhat warmer weather, with temperatures headed back towards seasonal averages through much of next week. All right, we'll talk about all of that in just a moment. But first, it's Friday, so that means it's Photo Friday here, where we take a look at some of the photos and or videos that you guys have submitted. Grab some popcorn, get comfortable, because we have a lot, and I mean a lot, of submissions this week. All right, first up, this is from Tyler. This is from a week ago Thursday in Scottsdale. Nice shot of lightning there. The one and only Michelle archived this from the ADOT freeway cams on Sunday morning. This is near 91st Avenue. Very heavy rain and lots of flash flooding throughout the West Valley that day. Then we have a gorgeous picture from John Armstrong up on the Rim Country Sunday afternoon. Sensational shot there. Zane, our international friend from Brisbane, Australia. And this is actually the Sunshine Coast. I know last week I said it was the Gold Coast. This is the Sunshine Coast, which is north of Brisbane. And, you know, it's not just us humans that like this rainy and cooler weather that we've had recently from the monsoon. The cats went out and explored as well. This is in Tonopah, courtesy of Greg. That's cute. Then we have a couple of cool pictures here from Chris Martin from his cabin in Ash Fork. Nice shot of a cumulus there. And then here's an anvil cloud. You get a thunderstorm developing in this shot. That's nice. David Parnell sends in a picture from the West Valley shortly before the storm started to roll in last Thursday, a week ago. Then here's a few pictures from someone calling himself the Hateful Hermit. These come from northern Arizona around the Happy Jack area. Shots of some rain and fog up that way. Then some late afternoon photos from a few days ago, courtesy of Beth from North Phoenix up around 19th Avenue and Greenway. That's cool. And then my one and only Michelle has video of the rain coming down from around here from last weekend. And even though the rain actually came down pretty heavy at times, I find this very soothing, rather peaceful. And as is often the case here during the monsoon, our friend Ryan Seek has sent in quite a few photos here. He takes these pretty close to Maricopa along I-8. And always with the pictures of storms and development, awesome cloud formations, and lightning photos. And these are always magnificent. So... Oh, and then I almost forgot, he sent in a time-lapse video as well, so we'll take a look at that. This is of a storm in development, but he says he had to cut this one short because the storm came to him and brought quite a bit of rain, and the lightning was getting a little close, so he had to get out of there. And as always, we encourage you, if you're going to take these pictures, of course, do so, but always exercise caution. Of course, I want to thank all of you for sending in your submissions each and every week. Every one of you, we could not do Photo Friday without you. So if you want to get in on it, you can do so. Groffshow at gmail.com is my email address. That is G-R-O-F-F show at gmail.com for Photo Friday. All right, let's go ahead and check out that almanac from yesterday. 106 degrees the afternoon high. 88 was the morning low, and that's pretty close to where we ought to be. Those normals, 106 and 85. Looking out there now at 8.05 a.m. A few clouds this morning, and we are at 90 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew point at 61, relative humidity 38%. Wind from the northeast at 8 miles per hour, and the barometer is rising. The upper air look this morning shows high pressure well off to the east of us, and around the periphery of that, there is that inverted trough across northern Sonora and into far southern Arizona, and that'll be the focus for showers and thunderstorms again today and into tomorrow. Here's the watch warning map, and again, we have a whole pile of heat advisories and excessive heat warnings extending from the Central Plains into the southeastern United States, temperatures from the mid-90s all the way up to over 100 degrees, and with high humidity values, heat indices will be in excess of 110 in some places. We also have some excessive heat in the Pacific Northwest as well, but we see moisture making its way up that way too, and now some flash flood watches in effect for parts of Oregon and Idaho Places that are in desperate need of rain, and they're finally going to get at least some over the next couple of days. Here in Arizona, a flash flood watch for the western portions of Arizona, southwest Maricopa, western Pima, Yuma, La Paz, Mojave, and much of Coconino County in that flash flood watch. And that's in effect through tomorrow. And that'll be the focus for shower storms and some heavy rain. But the rest of the state could still see some widely scattered to scattered showers. 
Here's the convective outlook. The standard slight risk of severe storms from around Hastings and Lincoln, Nebraska, over toward Omaha and into parts of southwest Iowa and northern Missouri, with a marginal risk for the adjacent areas, another marginal risk for the Carolinas. Here in Arizona, we are once again in the green. Thunderstorms expected across at least a fair portion of the state today. And while no organized severe weather is anticipated, any one storm could become severe. And the threat from storms today will primarily focus on strong, damaging straight-line winds, at least in terms of the potential of severe weather. And any storm will be capable of producing some locally heavy, if not even torrential rains in a few locations. Here's the precipitation outlook. This is valid through next Friday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts in Phoenix, not a lot, generally at or under one-tenth of an inch. And somewhat heavier totals up north, but these numbers are coming down because we'll be drying out. Now, any one spot can see more than that, especially in western Arizona, southeast California, and southern Nevada today with some isolated, stronger storms. But that drier weather pattern is coming our way. We'll talk about that in more detail as we get into modeling. Here we go. This is the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. High pressure to the east, the inverted trough just to our south, and a fairly deep southeasterly flow still bringing in plenty of monsoon moisture to parts of the state today. So down at the surface, partly cloudy, and scattered showers and thunderstorms will develop this afternoon. They will be most numerous out in western Arizona, southeast California, and up into southern Nevada and points north because that's where all of the dynamic support really is. Also, for south-central Arizona and the eastern mountains today, there is a bit of drier air beginning to filter in from New Mexico, and so I think that will limit the number of showers and storms that get in here today. But we still have at least a 30% chance of some rain uh, by this afternoon. And again, high temperatures will be a little bit below average, upper 90s to about 101. Any storms that we do manage to get could kick up some blowing dust, some gusty winds, and a few storms will put down some locally heavy rain. Tonight, again, chance of evening showers and storms. Otherwise, we're partly cloudy overnight lows in the 70s to low 80s. And then tomorrow, our flow aloft starts to turn out of the south. And so that's still favorable for bringing some moisture in here, but not necessarily the greatest direction for storms to come in. We would need showers and storms to develop over central Pima and western Pinal County to come up here into the Phoenix metro area. And those will be relatively limited. We'll still call for scattered showers and storms, especially in the morning and then decreasing in the afternoon and evening hours. High temperatures tomorrow, still mid-90s to maybe barely around 100 degrees. By Sunday, the flow aloft is starting to switch out of the southwest as troughing develops just off of the west coast. And a ridge is building off of the Baja coast, so more of that westerly component. And that will bring in drier air, limiting shower and storm development to mainly the higher terrain. So we'll take the chance of rain out of our forecast and high temperatures only a couple of degrees warmer for Sunday. And then much of next week will be dominated by ridging just to the west of us and troughing over the Pacific Northwest. And so more of a northwesterly flow coming in here, and that's going to severely limit the number of showers and storms, confining them to perhaps just the far eastern mountains or the southeastern corner of our state. There might be a day or two where they flare up a bit more, but they'll stay far away from us. So we're looking at mostly clear sky for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and here's Thursday. Each day, high temperatures should range from around 103 to 107 with drier air and high pressure around. Temperatures should rebound, but probably not into the excessive heat criteria. At least that's how it looks right now. Uh, but some guidance is having us just a little bit warmer than that. We'll see. And here's a week from today. This is Friday, the 6th of August, an upper low, an associated trough over the Pacific Northwest. And that is pushing our subtropical ridge to the south and east. A mainly southwesterly flow continues here. That looks fairly dry for us. Now, as we look out 10 days, this is Sunday, the 8th of August. High pressure further suppressed to the south and east in favor of broad troughing over a fair portion of the western states. And conceptually, this would result in southwesterly flow. We would be dry. Temperatures a little bit below average. In fact, uh, some guidance shows highs staying at or just barely above 100 degrees, and that's kind of unusual in and of itself unless we have a lot of monsoon moisture around here, which in a setup like this, we generally wouldn't. Now, I say generally because check out the surface chart at this time. It's showing rather robust moisture here over the southwest, which is odd to say the least in that kind of a setup. The only way we usually have that with southwesterly flow is if we have uh, some tropical mischief out in the East Pacific, some type of tropical storm or hurricane, or if we get one of these uh, vort maxes or short waves breaking away from the mean trough over the Pacific Northwest, that could evict moisture in here and would add dynamic support for showers and storms. But 
You know, this is a scenario that's 10 days out and is highly subject to change. We'll just have to see how this evolves, but kind of interesting. And then as we take a look at rainfall for Phoenix over the next couple of weeks coming off of the GFS Ensemble, and the mean is still up there between about three quarters of an inch and one inch with a rather noted break in activity for much of next week. And then uh, rain chances and rain amounts start to pick up thereafter out there toward 10 days and beyond. And in a typical monsoon season, and we really haven't had that for a while, but a normal monsoon, about this time, the first week of August, is when we generally have a break. It's not unusual to have a break in activity for about a week or so uh, during the season. So this is still following the kind of typical arc of our monsoon, so nothing to worry about just yet. And temperatures off of the national blend of models, we will trend back up towards seasonal averages as we go to next week. And there's a possibility we may have a day or two where we're even above what's shown here. And then there is that noted downtrend with high temperatures maybe not even making the century mark out there toward 10 days or so. And that should just about do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is scheduled for Monday morning, but updates may be necessary before that. If you enjoy these videos, and you know what, even if you don't, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions, they are always encouraged and welcomed. I thank you so very much for watching, really appreciate it each and every day. You guys, be safe, stay cool and hydrated out there, watch your kids around the swimming pool, and have yourselves a great Friday and an amazing weekend.